Hey, art friends, today we're going to draw a bird. What kind of bird are we drawing? A green cheek conure. A green cheek conure. And we happen to have a special guest with us, which ha also happens to be a green cheek conure. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Her name's Queso. Yeah, this is our little bird. She's pretty cute. Yes. <laughs> Except she doesn't like me. She only likes you. Oh, and she <laughs> does tricks. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to pet her. Let's see if she she'll does let me. not like you. No, she doesn't. It's okay. Wait, she's you're letting me pet letting her. You? <gasps> That's a first. Well, ah, okay, <laughs> you pet her. Yes. Oh, hey, hey. I'm being nice to you. <laughs> she really only likes Hadley. Can we kiss? Thank you. <laughs> she kissed your nostril. Yes. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. You also need some? Paper and oh. something to and, color with. And something to color with. And it's not required that you have a bird. Yeah. That's okay if you do, though. <laughs> she going to eat it? Let me pet your tail. <gasps> okay. <laughs> She's like, stop. Stop it. <laughs> We put queso back in her cage, so now we're ready to draw. Mm -hmm. We have our markers, but you can use a pencil if you'd rather use a pencil. Let's start by drawing her eye, our bird's eye. We're going to draw it towards the top of our paper so that we have room for her tail and her whole body. Let's first draw a little circle towards the top of our paper in the middle. Yes, and then we're going to color in that circle. Then let's draw the shape that goes around her eye. We're going to draw an upside down U going over the top. And then let's draw another curve underneath to connect the bottom. Oh, it's already starting to look like queso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's draw her, the top of her head. And they have really round foreheads. And then the top of their head's kind of flat. And then it comes down. It just slowly curves down in the back. Yeah. Now let's draw her beak. We're going to draw a little curve that comes in and we're going to stop right about there. This is for the top of her beak. Now they have hook bills, so they're curved. We're going to draw a curve that comes out and then down. Not too far. Now the very end of the bill is super sharp. So we're going to come straight up like this. It looks like a V. And then we're going to come across into that curve. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of her beak. We're going to extend this curve down further. And then we're going to curve up to where the bend in her beak is. Yes, you did it. <laughs> let's also draw her nostrils. They have a little pad right here, soft, kind of fleshy part right here with no feathers. And if you have enough room, you could add a little tiny nostril. <laughs> That's really small. <laughs> we did it. There's our green cheek conure's head. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Now ready to draw her neck and her body. First, let's draw the back of her neck coming down further. Then we can draw the front of her neck also, and not as long, maybe a little shorter. Kind of looks like a pigeon. It kind of does. <laughs> Now let's draw her body. We're going to draw a curve that comes out like this, and then we're going to curve back in. And we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Curve out and back in. Now right here, let's draw a straight line down on each side. This is for her legs. Now let's draw the branch that she's sitting on. And I'm going to start here. We're going to draw kind of a wiggly line that comes all the way across and connects to her legs. Now let's draw the bottom of the branch. And we're going to draw a really thin branch. This could be the little branch that she's sitting on in her cage. And then let's draw our little toes. We're going to draw two little U-shapes next to each other on the left and also on the right. 
just to keep it nice and simple. You could add little talons too if you want. I'm gonna draw a little curve for the talon at the bottom on each side, like that. Yeah. Then let's draw the inside of her leg. We're gonna draw just a little curve coming up to the right, and then also one on the other side coming up to the left. And then we could also draw her little feathers or belly line right here. I'm gonna add little bumpy lines to connect the two legs together. Nice, now let's draw her tail. We're gonna draw a letter U underneath the branch. And then we're gonna draw the longer feathers. Let's draw one that comes down. It's a longer letter U, but look, when you come back up, connect to the middle of the first one. And then we can do another one right next to it on the other side. Now let's add another U shape that comes down even further on both sides. I went faster. If you need to, you guys at home can pause the video, take extra time. Now let's draw a really long feather. I'm gonna draw it coming down really far for the last one. And then the feather on the right can come down and connect to the one on the left. So it's overlapping behind it. What's our green cheek missing? Wings. Yeah, wings. Let's just draw, right here we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out further like this and then we're gonna connect to the branch. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Come out and then connect down. Now right here I'm gonna draw another feather that comes down and it's outside of the wing. The, she has green feathers up here, but these feathers, what color are these? Those are blue. Yeah, blue. Then we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw another one on this side too. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our cute green cheek conure, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, it just kind of looks like a parrot. Mm -hmm. After we color it, it'll look more like queso. This part, we are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Actually, instead of fast forwarding the entire part, let's talk about the different colors that we're using while we're coloring. And we're using our biannual markers, so if you have the same set, we'll tell you the numbers. The first color we're using is WG05. This is a medium warm gray. And we're gonna use this to color her beak. You can first color this shape in on top and also on the bottom. And then I'm also going to color her forehead we're gonna color on top of her eye and I'll just draw the line. We're gonna, I'm gonna draw a zigzag line coming down the back of her neck and we're gonna stop on her shoulder and everything above that line we're gonna color in. Next we're switching to our yellow color. I'm using Y204, but you're using Y107. They're both good yellows. I, I just ran out of Y107, so I'm <laughs> using this one. We're gonna color her cheek right here. So even though she's called a green cheek, Conyer, we're gonna color first the yellow underneath the green. So there we go, just right on the front of her neck. And then also we're, get, we're gonna leave a little patch of white right here on her chest, and we're gonna draw a zigzag line going across her chest, but it looks like a U shape. And then we're gonna color below that line, but not all the way down because it's switching to red. There you go. And then I'm also gonna color the outside and down her leg on the right and also on the left side. Yeah, nice. Also with the yellow, before we switch, let's add little dashes for yellow feathers that are up here on the white part of her chest. Yeah. Nice. Now let's switch to red. We're using R107. Let's add a little red just above her nose. And then we can color in right here on her belly. We're gonna color in this whole part up to the yellow. 
Now let's also do the same thing we did with the yellow, but with our red marker, we're going to add a few red feathers or dashes coming up into the yellow part. Whoa, that looks really cool. Yeah. Now it's starting to look realistic. And like Izo. Yeah, just <laughs> like her. Let's also color in the tail feathers red. Now let's switch to our green marker, G515, and we're gonna color the wings, color the whole thing above the branch, and also on the right side. And then we're gonna color this center tail feather right here. Let's also use this green to add the little green feathers on her cheek. So it's green cheek. Yeah, this makes her a green cheek, Conyer, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add them come in all the way down that little yellow patch that we first colored in. Then what color are we using for the blue feathers? B205. Yeah, let's color in this left feather. There's actually quite a few there, but we just kept it simple with the one mm -hmm. feather on each side. These are on her wings and it helps oh, her fly. Yeah, these are flight feathers. They're so cool. Okay, now let's switch to our pink color. We're using R502 and I'm gonna color in the little fleshy part on her beak. We could also add a little pink right here on her cheek, just under her eye. And then let's also color in her talons. Now let's switch to our brown marker Y423 to color in the branch. Now we're switching to one more gray. This is a lighter gray, WG03, just to add a little more feather texture right here on her neck. We can also draw and add those little dashes down her chest. I'm gonna even come down into the yellow, to add more feather texture all the way down her body. Then let's switch back to our WG05 to add a little line right down the middle of each feather. So I'm going to add it there and here, and also coming down to these longer feathers. You can also use the same gray WG05 to add the little dashes on the back of her neck and on top of her head to add more texture. That looks really cool. And the very last step, we're going to use our white Prismacolor colored pencil and add a little highlight to her eye to make it look shiny. And then we can also add a little highlight and texture lines to her beak to make it look more 3D also. Have like, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring queso or green cheek conga. It's super cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Do you think she looks better all colored in? Yes, definitely. I, I think so too. And I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? Another green cheek. Oh, that would be awesome. You could draw it right next to this one so she has a buddy. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a green cheek on you. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look a little different, but they both turned out awesome. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is... To have fun. <laughs> yeah, have fun. And what else? Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you're so cute. I wish you would let me pet you. Oh. Okay, you pet her. No, I won't touch her. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I touched one of your feathers that were growing in. Oh, yeah, she does not like that.